Alright guys, so today's video is going to be a quick tip where I show you how to filter reports using SQL. Alright, so today I'm going to show you guys how we can filter a report using SQL. Alright, so for this example, if you take a look at my screen, I'm going to use a, a metric from the inventory orders table. Now if you take a look here at the table, it only has month and item. So this table only goes down to the month level, right? So it's units received by month. Okay, so now if I have this report here, I have month and I have units received, okay? Now let's say for some reason, and this doesn't really make sense, but just to highlight the point, let's say for some reason I wanted to add a day filter here. Okay, so let's bring day up here, and let's choose a day. Let's just say May 30th, 2016. Okay, now let's run this report and see what happens. It fails, okay, and that's because the fact does not exist at that level. So you cannot report, you cannot use day in your filter. All right, so let's say you wanted to choose you know, a good example where you would might want to do something like this is if you're looking to um, dynamically choose the current month or the current year, okay, based on the day. So, the, right, so the way you know what month we're in, if you want to dynamically do this, is you need to look at the day. Well, in order to determine what current, what cur the current year, current month is, you need to look at the day, right? What day, what day is it? All right, so you couldn't do that here, okay, and that's because this fact, this units received fact, does not exist at the day level, so you cannot use day in your filter. All right? But let me show you how you can do this. Okay? So in this example, you may want to write custom SQL against the database. All right? So let's show you, let me show you how this is done. So we're going to remove this. Okay? And we're going to add an advanced qualification. Click OK. OK. Now we want, we want to leave this option selected for custom expression. OK. And what the function we want to use in here is apply comparison. OK. This will allow us, now what this will do is, this will allow us to compare the results of our SQL to our attribute. All right, so let's go ahead. Let, let's, in fact, let's use that example. Let's say we want to select, dynamically select the current month based on the day. Let's, let's stick with that example, okay? So we're going to use our comparison pattern here, okay? So pound zero. We'll use in. one okay now what this is this is your comparison statement okay now these this pound zero and pound one this will be replaced with our attributes and the results of our SQL so I'll show you that here so we'll do comma first parameter is going to replace pound zero And we'll do month at ID. So the month ID, this is our attribute that we're going to compare to. Now the second one, we want this to be the results of our SQL, this, this one. Okay? We want that to be the month that's returned by our SQL statement. So what we're going to do in here is, for this second parameter, we're going to, we're going to nest another function called apply simple. And apply simple allows us to perform basically SQL pass-through. So this will execute the SQL directly against the database. Okay. So I'll touch that. Now the SQL is going to vary depending on what uh, database you're using for your data warehouse. Uh, I'm using the tutorial project. So this will be in Microsoft Access database. Um, so the SQL I enter is going to be relevant to that. But your SQL might vary. But if you're looking to do this, chances are you know that. You know, you know this part of it. 
So we'll do select distinct month ID from the lookup table LU day where the date is equal to the current date. Okay. Now, for this example, I'm using, like I said, I'm using the tutorial database, so the date is a little bit outdated. So there is no data for today or yesterday. So I'm going to have to go back a little bit further. But if you were looking to do, choose a dynamic month based on the day, you would just use the current day. Uh, but just so this works, so you can see some results, we're going to subtract 730 days. And then there is no parameter for this statement, so we'll just do comma zero. Close parentheses, close parentheses. Okay, so hopefully that's clear what this is doing. This SQL statement is going to return the month ID for a particular date. Okay, and it's going to compare that, apply comparison is going to compare the month attribute to that date. So it's going to choose that particular month for your report based on the SQL. So let's click OK. Well, first let's click on Validate, make sure it's valid, and it is. Click OK. OK, and now let's run this again with our new filter. And there we have it. The report su ran successfully. And now we have our units received for the month of May in 2016. All right, so that'll do it. This is a new channel. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, I got a couple cool things coming up, SDK and predictive analytics with MicroStrategy. Check me out on jamestechtips.com for more BI-related content, and thanks for watching.